Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to show you guys some things that I have for the 335. I'm also going to be removing the front lip off the car so I can drive it again. I haven't been able to drive the car ever since the accident happened because if I try to drive it anywhere higher than 50 miles an hour, the lip starts flapping. I guess the wind just, it's, it's flimsy right now. So I'm going to take that off so I can drive it again. But before we do that, I want to show you guys something that I'm actually very excited about. It's something that I've been wanting for the longest. The other day I was on Beamer Post and I happened to come across somebody that was selling some Susker extensions. He didn't have any pictures but um, he just had the picture of the Susker itself. Um, but just by looking at it I knew what they were. So I asked him for pictures. He sent me a couple and sure enough those were the ones that I was looking for. So a friend of mine was able to help me get these shipped to me. And they're a little dirty obviously they're used but and I mean they have some small tiny imperfections but once they're on the car you're not going to be able to see them but these are a lot more aggressive well I wouldn't say a lot more but they're more aggressive than what I have on the car now and what I have is actually the in performance style those are actually nice too but they're like I said they're not as aggressive and the theme that I have going on right now it's um, I'm trying to keep it aggressive but at the same time not too overdone and these are actually going to go a lot better with the front lip once I get it back on there and with all the other stuff that I have planned for the car. Now you guys can see this is actually a um, one by one weave so it's not the same as a as the traditional two by two and I'll show you guys if you guys aren't aware of the difference I'll show you guys what the uh, difference is. Alright and also I want to show you guys these. These are going to be going on the car. Shout out to John aka Thick F30. These are going to look a lot nicer on the car. This is going to help a lot and it's going to flow better with this and like I, w I was saying it's you guys might not realize it but I have a theme in mind and I'll kind of once everything starts coming together I'll kind of show you guys why I feel like these flow better or gonna flow better with the car and with those as well but here let me show you guys the difference all right so here is the two by two weave and here is the one by one as you guys can see this one is a lot bigger the weave itself is bigger than the the one by one this looks pretty nice, um, which you can tell this needs to get polished and I'm going to try to polish them before I put them on the car. Otherwise, I'm going to send them to the shop and have them uh, clear coated once again so they'll have some shine back on it because it's when you, you look at these two, it's a big difference. I mean, the color is different as well. So those are a couple of the things that are going on the car, hopefully this weekend. If you're excited to see it on the car, do me a favor and uh, hit that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let's go outside and uh, take the lip off that way so we can go ahead and uh, start driving the car again. Alright guys, here's one last look of the lip on the car before I actually get a new one of course. But I'm already sweating bullets so I'm going to hurry up and get the heck out of here. Cause this heat's no joke. It's not even that hot, but uh, it's kind of hot. You, you, know, you guys know what I mean. There's the car without the lip. And yes, I know you're not supposed to hold the car with the jack, but there's a jack stand on the other side and I wasn't expecting to be underneath the car. But if you ever work on the car, never leave it up on the jack. Always put a jack stand on both sides if you're going to be underneath it for a long time. Oh, she's naked again. Looks different without her lip. <laughs> 